guys and welcome to One Kitchen. I'm Julia. Today it is Saturday, which means it is No Shame Saturday, which also means that I can be creative today, which I've been looking forward to. You know the dish, or you might know the dish called Bangers and Mash. It is some delicious sausages with, well, mashed potatoes. I thought I would kind of try to take that to the next level and then make some kind of like huge fries or some huge bites where you have the such inside and then the mashed potato outside and then fry in oil until it is nice and crispy and I love the idea so let's get going. First I just have to fry up some frankfurter sausages. You can use whatever sausage you like. Mine are quite big but I just fry them until they were nice and golden brown and then I first cut them in half and then in half again so my bites or fries are not going to be too big because I know they will already be kind of big because of all that mashed potatoes so don't use too big sausages otherwise just cut them in some smaller bits. I have already boiled some potatoes and I'm just going to add in a good, good lump of butter. Salt. Pepper. Just really get it all nice and mashed together. Add in one egg. Mash it all together. The next step is just to mix in enough flour for it to not be sticky at all. So you can kind of shape it into some flat shapes. You can kind of wrap that sausage in there. So I'm just going to add in enough flour until it has the consistency that I want. And it is kind of hard to say the exact exact measurements you're going to use because it depends on what kind of potato you're using. Just really make sure to use some dry out potatoes, like the potatoes you use for baked potatoes and stuff like that. So yeah, but I'll try to measure it out and then just keep an eye on your yours guys and just add in little by little. Right, so I just need a bit with my hands instead because that was a lot easier and I think it is there now it's still quite sticky but it's, it's also firm enough to kind of shape into what I want to shape it to so it is looking really good I have already made one what I do is just to spread out just a little bit of flour and then add some of this on Just like that. And I'm just going to make a ton of these. My oil is already ready, so what I do is to add about two in at a time. Just fry it on there until they are nice and golden brown. Remember to 
flip them once in a while and make sure that they don't stick together. If you want to have an easy eye on them, just fry one at a time instead of two. After they are golden brown, they are ready to be served with some salt on the top and some ketchup on the side. They have been frying in here for about five to six minutes just until they are nice and golden brown. And it looks so good, so what I do is just to remove them from the heat. They almost look kind of like a giant... Um, oh, I can't remember the name. It will come to me in a bit. <laughs> I've just taken them out so in some paper towels, just draining them off. And just almost some salt right away. Give them a bit of flavor. I already added salt in the potato mash, but just a bit more on the top. Oh, they look like corn dogs. That was my word. <laughs> they look like giant corn dogs. They are just even more delicious with that mashed potatoes around. I'm just going to fry my other ones, and after that, they are ready to be served. Let's dig in. I just have a little bit of ketchup on. Mmm. This is quite hot. I'm going to put it down. Mm. That is really yummy. Just remember to add enough salt and pepper in the mashed potatoes so you really get the flavor in when they are done. They are delicious. They look like giant corn dogs, but they are made with potato. So it's kind of like a reverse mash with bangers and mash. Um, yeah, give them a go, guys. They are delicious. I actually only made seven out of my whole portion of mashed potatoes. Just remember, if you're making for a lot of people, you might need a lot more mash than I have. But all the ingredients are down below if you want to give these a go. And don't forget to check in again tomorrow for my sweet treat Sunday if you are into delicious sweets and desserts. So I'll hopefully see you guys then. Otherwise, I'll see you next time when you check out my channel. Bye!